Russia says their focus is now on the east, but this is Odessa in the south. Missile strikes today killed at least five people, including a three-month-old baby, according to the Ukrainians. Kyiv said they expect Russian attacks to intensify this orthodox Easter weekend. They said Moscow's aim was one of terror. Mariupol knows all about terror. The now customary drone shots show what the Kremlin calls the liberation of this city. And the Russians continue to pummel the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol, despite Putin's televised orders on Thursday to siege rather than attack. Down in the bowels of the factory, the last patch of Ukrainian resistance, the word Dieti, children, is written on the walls. Vladimir Putin said he didn't even want a fly to escape this place. So what hope for these families, who claim to have sheltered here for two months? This footage from Thursday was filmed by soldiers from the Azov Regiment, a once militia group with openly fascist roots, a useful propaganda tool for Vladimir Putin to justify his so-called war of denazification. They are now part of Ukraine's National Guard, but the footage was released with the Azov logo. Kyiv denies the soldiers have any neo-Nazi links. The war has seen them flooded with volunteers. War, where children make baskets in darkened basements as they dream of daylight. But they don't breathe fresh air outside, just inhale smoke. Civilian evacuations were meant to take place today. Russia and Ukraine blamed each other for it not going ahead. What hope for those left behind? More satellite images show what appear to be newly dug trenches in a cemetery east of the city, the second mass grave site revealed in the area in the past few days. Moscow continues to conduct attacks on the front line in Luhansk and Donetsk. And Kharkiv, Ukraine's second city, is now partially blocked and under constant shelling. President Zelensky today spoke with Boris Johnson about a new phase of military aid. And the UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez plans to meet Vladimir Putin on Tuesday to call for an end to the fighting. But neither side is likely to come to the table. Both Kyiv and Moscow are waiting to see what happens with this next phase, whether Ukrainian resistance can once again defy the odds or whether Mariupol's fate is repeated across the